top five wonders of cycle cruising. Top five questions that I get asked all the fucking time. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. So I'm going to clear it up for you. Or maybe not. <laughs> okay, number one. What race are you, Psycho Cruiser? What ethnicity are you? Are you black? Are you white? You're a Puerto Rican, aren't you, Psycho Cruiser? Are you uh, Mexican? Psycho Cruiser, you're Asian, aren't you? you you're Asian. Oh, I think it's absolutely fucking hilarious that you guys... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'd say probably like 90% of you guys get the shit wrong. But you know what? You say Psycho Cruiser, you sound black. You sound black, man. But I see your skin color. Look at that. Look at the skin color. Look, you're white. White as me, man. What the fuck? What are you, a wigger? <laughs> Dude, I, this is not a fake accent, first of all, because I get a lot of people, some people to say this shit, like Psycho Cruiser, you're, you're putting on a fake accent. You're trying to copy the Hodge Twins or something. The fuck? I don't even watch the Hodge Twins. I don't know. It's just beyond me that people think that this is like a phony accent. It's not a fucking phony accent. Dude, I was raised, I took you to where I was raised, I showed you guys in the inner city of west side of Cleveland in the fucking hood over there. You know, I grew up, just that's the environment. That's how everybody talked. That's just, you know, my sister, she was actually raised in Florida, South Florida, to where she lives now. And she talks like a valley girl. You know, she talks completely. She left Cleveland when she was like, like three or four years old. And she was raised you know, in the suburbs and, and uh, down in Florida. She sounds like a valley girl. I just, I'm a, you can take the man out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of the man. I don't know, that's just the way I fucking talk. But as far as my race, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it, keep you guys guessing. So I can stay stealth out here on the streets. <laughs> so you guys, Continue to think what you want to think and what race you want to think I am. And that's fine. Whatever race you want me to be, that's what I'll be for you, okay? Does that make you feel good? Does it really fucking matter? I think it's hilarious, man. But we'll keep it, you know, we'll, I'm going to keep it a mystery. So there you go. I know you're probably pissed off that I didn't answer it for you, but I'm going to keep it a mystery. So there you go. But the reason why I talk the way I do, which honestly, you know, I talk like that in my motor, you know, I talk my true self in my motor vlogs, but when I'm conducting business, yeah, I do, you know, speak professionally, you know. So there's what, you know, just like some of you guys that, that, uh, you know, you speak, uh, dude man talk or something you know when you go to your job you don't talk that way you know you everybody has you know when you you talk professionally some people talk professionally all the time and kudos to you i don't know man blame it on my mother for raising me in the inner city but anyways number two you know why don't you show your face why why are you anonymous out here on the streets and look at all this fucking gravel and dirt man that's how I tell you, I don't really like fucking around out here on these streets in Ohio. It's dangerous, man. But I already did a video on that, guys. I really, I'm not really, I'm just going to give a brief answer on that. If you want to see the full video that I did on why, I'm, why I want to be anonymous on YouTube, some, I'm not fully anonymous, but somewhat. Um, I just don't want to be right. The number one reason is, is I, I have a business. I don't want to lose any business. I act like a dickhead out here on the street sometimes. I'm ignorant out here on the street sometimes. Yeah! 
You see me cussing, I'm busting nuts in some of my videos. Uh, being a hooligan off-road, doing off-road fuckery. Yeah, let's get some air! Whoa! <laughs> Got some good air that time, baby! Get some slide action! And uh, that's not very a good look to my clients, you know, or potential business partners. So, I just, and if I had to go get a job, God forbid, if I was down and out and had to go get a fucking J-O-B just over broke, gig I wouldn't want to my mug all up in the videos and they see me you know and they know who I am and cussing and shit and I get passed over on a job because of you know the way I act out here on the streets you know and I I like being myself out here on the streets and having fun with it and I think you guys appreciate that you wouldn't want me to be talking professionally I probably wouldn't have any subscribers or anything if I just was like a robot being professional and, and having the utmost manners or, you know I just I am who I am but I don't want my business uh, clients knowing <laughs> seeing that side of me I want to keep this on the down low and of course I don't want to be a fucking celebrity on any level even though I'm not that big on YouTube at all but I don't want any celebrity in any form. I want to be stealth out here on the streets. I want to be a regular fucking Joe out here. I don't want to be recognized out here. You know, some people like that fame, attention, shit. That's not me. The main reason why I do this... The main reason why I do this channel is to motivate people to get a motorcycle so we can increase our numbers out here on the streets. And we can all learn together. I, I do these topics these motor vlogs and topics and whatnot so to incite community discussion so I I've learned a lot from you guys and then I share it you know in my videos or I learn through experience and share what I what I've learned through experience and I you know I enjoy doing that so this is fun to me this is like a hobby for me you know it's not a job like some of you guys say a cycle cruise is that your job no this ain't my fucking job man. <laughs> I do, I have a, I have about probably four different businesses, man, and looking for more businesses. I can never, uh, I'm always out there hustling, you know, legal way, by the way, paying taxes. But anyways, number three, you know, why do I cuss all the fucking time? I got, it's a bad habit, okay, I can't help it, I'm, I try to clean it up, and I just can't help myself. Sometimes I, I, you know, when I'm editing my videos, I kind of cringe sometimes. I'm like, I, I cuss too much sometimes, you know? But who cares? At the end of the day, it's just words. I use the words for exclamation. Like if I, I said, you know, if I told you guys, you know, wear your gear so you don't have a bad day. Is anybody going to remember that or give a shit? But when I tell you guys, wear your gear so you don't have a fucked up day, it resonates in your head. And you remember that and it kind of motivates you guys to wear gear because I get feedback from you guys all the time you know telling me you, it, that I motivated you to wear gear to help keep you safe out here on the streets and that you know so it's beneficial that I cuss sometimes sometimes I do overdo it you know I could uh, be more creative with my words but that's just me so what take it or leave it uh, the number four thing on the list cycle cruiser why don't you really can you wheelie? You know, I want to see you fucking wheelie. I I have done a few wheelies and videos, pop the wheelie here and there. I, yes, I can wheelie, and I've wheelied my 600 double R and this bike, but I do not wheelie on public streets. I only wheelie like going in uh, like industrial areas or park, big parking lots and fuck around that way. But I highly recommend do not, even if you're an expert. Uh, wheelie, you know, you can do expert wheelies out here on the fucking street. All it takes is that one time you mess up and you can be toast out here on the streets and have a real fucked up day. You fall off your bike, bike gets all fucked up and somebody runs over your sorry ass for you trying to show off, be cool out here on the fucking streets. 
you know I just never been motivated to do a wheelie video for for views or anything I don't know man it's just but I actually bought the WR 250R to do wheelies on so I can beat on it and fuck around with it do slow 12 o'clock wheelies as you guys saw that that fuck up I did trying to do a slow uh, 12 o'clock wheelie And I was just fucking around. That was off camera. That wasn't even during a moto vlog. You know, I was just showing you guys because I thought it was funny. But, uh... But, you know what? For those of you that like to do the wheelies, I, hey, that's your prerogative, man. Just be careful out there, though, because in some states, like I believe Florida, if you get a caught a couple of times doing wheelies, they can actually take your license. They don't play in Florida. It is reckless riding, to be honest with you, man, because all it takes is one little fuck up, you land wrong or something, the bike goes out of balance and throws you, bucks you off the bike, whatever, you know, there's a lot of, you see the videos out there, the wheelie fails, and to, it really, it's not, it's not smart to fuck around on public streets, you know. So I highly recommend you take that shit to maybe some abandoned streets or something, or fucking, like I said, parking lots, industrial areas or something, so away from traffic, man. And that's, you know, that's what's awesome about, like, the dual sport dirt bikes. You wheelie off-road all fucking day. You don't have to worry about that. It's legal. It's safer. And it's fun. And you can beat on the, if you fuck up, like I did on my WR250R, that it's not going to be, uh, the bike's not going to get all wrecked up. But anyways, number five on my list. Cycle Cruiser, why do you ride alone all the time? Huh? You know, why don't you ride with some friends or people? Why why ride alone? I did a video on that. If you want to see the video in, in depth on why I ride alone, I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video. But the main reason is I really don't like anybody following me and I don't like to uh, follow anybody else. I like to just be free and go wherever I want to fucking go. I like to be spontaneous and just head down a back road, crank the fucking throttle, and just uh, do whatever the hell I want to do. This is like meditation for me. Getting away from people and just doing my own thing. Just me, my motorcycle, and the beautiful scenery. And, and like it says, meditation for me. I like it. And uh, that's just me, though. You know, everybody's different. If you enjoy riding with other riders, then, uh, hey, you know, that good good on you. You know, whatever. To each his own. Everybody has their own preferences. But, uh, so I hope that answers some of your questions, except for the first one I didn't answer about race. And I want to keep that, uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to keep that a mystery. So, uh, because I think it's funny you guys keep uh, guessing all these wrong <laughs> you guys guess at all these wrong ethnicities. I think it's hilarious, man. I actually mentioned my ethnicity uh, kind of slightly in a few videos in the past, but I, it must have went over some people's heads. If you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, CycleCruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized into various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. I appreciate all you guys. And if you haven't got a motorcycle, get your ass to the MSF class. And they'll have a motorcycle for you there to learn on. Get your uh, motorcycle endorsement and get your motorcycle. And have fun like I'm having out here. We need more riders out here on the streets. I appreciate all you guys. So, hey, take care. And until next time. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original Bug Out Moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at YouTube.com forward slash Bug Out Moto. Subscribe today.